the University of Wyoming research projects have a lot of interesting programs going on at all the times. Right now we have an interesting project here at the Greenhouse Research Facility in Laramie. Nate Story has one of those projects. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Um, so I'm doing essentially integrated aquaculture and hydroponics. So we grow fish in tanks and then we take the wastewater from fish production and we cycle it through hydroponic elements and the plants clean the wastewater so we can send it back to the fish. Um, but what it really does is it takes the liability of fish production, that's the waste produced, and it turns it into another product that we can sell. And actually a product that we're finding is worth a lot more than the fish is. Okay. And what kinds of crops are you growing in the vertical gardens? So right now we're basically doing a little economic study. We're looking at a bunch of different grains and herbs and how, um, how well they sell in a small town like Laramie. So uh, part, of, part of the deal with these towers is that they're modular. We can take them down and we can haul them to market pole. Okay. And people can pick their own greens and herbs at market. Wow, okay. Do you foresee that this is something that someone could have, say, at their home and have one tank with a few tilapia that maybe they were choosing to eat some of the fish and replenish the fish supply? It can work both ways. There are a lot of people that are already using these mm -hmm. in their homes. Okay. Um, or in their own personal systems. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking anything from like a 30 or 50 gallon aquarium mm -hmm. up to, you know, hundreds or thousands of gallons of, of aquacultural effluent that they're dealing with. So, okay. um, yeah, it, it can be done on a really small scale and it can be done on a scale uh, where you're actually consuming some of the fish from your system. Okay. So you feed the fish so that the, you get the nutrients that you need for the plants. That's right. Okay. And we manage how we feed the fish to maximize the nutrients or to get what we want. Okay. Sometimes we're producing too much, sometimes we're producing too little. Uh -huh. The goal is to find the perfect kind of, uh, the perfect ground where we're producing just the right amount for plant production, um, but not so much that we end up with nutrient accumulation in our water. Right, okay. One of the other aspects that tends to be kind of interesting, we don't see a lot of verticality in most gardening in Wyoming. So part of, part of the reason we do vertical is because we're in a northern climate, we have lots of sun, sometimes too much sun. Um, but what but we also have is a really low sun angle in the winter. So in the winter, the sun will come up and it'll just kind of skirt along the horizon and then go back down. And what that means is that angle of light hitting a horizontal crop is really you know, it really minimizes the amount of light reception those crops get. So by flipping our plane um, vertical, we have almost direct light from that low sun. I'm really looking forward to trying some of these herbs myself. For the University of Wyoming Extension, this has been Donna Quinn from The Ground Up. Here at Magpie Farms, we are excited to offer COSAC, a commercial, open source, sustainable aquaponic greenhouse. COSAG is an innovative, competitively scaled, sustainable farming installation designed to address our population's food concerns. COSAG was not developed to reinvent aquaponics or greenhouses, but to make these systems and methods available. The COSAC project will provide thorough, in-depth videos and tutorials on the construction and operation of COSAC, free, through an open source agricultural online platform. A COSAC offers numerous benefits over traditional farming methods. Its closed loop system uses 90% less water than traditional agriculture in the production of fruits and vegetables and eliminates water pollution from fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, and fish effluent. It is designed to produce what it requires, thereby reducing the amount of off-farm inputs and their financial costs and environmental impacts. Its controlled environment produces fresh, local, organic fruits, vegetables, and fish 12 months a year, even in northern latitudes with little effect from outside environmental factors such as weather and pests. Its compact design and utilization of industry-proven systems increases yield to square foot ratios of produce and fish, increasing revenues and relieving the demand on resources for production. COSAGs are modular, allowing builders freedom in their design. All COSAG operations are simple, include redundant backup systems, and are industry proven. Its grassroots local introduction returns the connection and directness of transaction between producers and consumers. 
thus rejuvenating local economies and strengthening community. It's uniquely affordable, with the construction and startup costs of less than $25 per square foot, a fraction of the cost for any prefab system in its class. A COSAC presents itself as a viable option for struggling small farms and communities. The COSAC project is ready to build its first functioning prototype and research facility. This 30 foot by 100 foot four season greenhouse installation will provide the material for the videos and tutorials, allow us to fine tune and experiment with the systems to improve their quality and yield, integrate other forms of hydroponics and aquaculture, and increase our commercially available local food supply. Magpie Farms is raising $50,000 in 45 days for the COSAC project. Monies pledged to our cause go to the construction of the first COSAC facility and to support the project's ongoing mission and web presence. We invite you to come take a closer look at the COSAC project, make a donation, and join the growing crowd of individuals supporting the solutions to our social, economic, and environmental issues. Thank you.